Despite continuing Russian opposition, the U.S. and its allies on the United Nations Security Council have pledged to pass a deal reached by world powers this weekend to promote peace in Syria. We spoke with U.N. political commentator Ahmed Fati to find out what a resulting resolution could entail. The, if the Security Council uh, agrees to the framework agreed upon in Geneva and thus becoming a legally binding document, that will open the road towards uh, sanctions in the uh, seventh chapter of the uh, UN Charter, which may include military action. I don't see military action taking place, but there is huge uh, space for more sanctions on the Assad regime to make it virtually incapable of doing business in this, uh, in this world. UN Human Rights Chief Navi Pali also made a new appeal to the Security Council to refer the Syrian government to the International Criminal Court and to strengthen, not recall, the UN peacekeeping forces, moves that strategists are wary will make any further progress. Iran have uh, supplied the Syrians with uh, the know-how to uh, monitor the Internet. Iran have uh, supplied uh, strategic direction and trainers from the Basij uh, forces. So Iran is not playing uh, to calm the situation down. Iran is actually an accessory. Every piece of weapon, every uh, box of ammunition is uh, meaning the killing of an innocent Syrian. But adding more fuel to the fire against both Syria's gross human rights violations and the conflict's danger to the region's tense geopolitics is a new UN report which reveals that Syria remains the top destination for illegal Iranian arms shipments. If you will see a change in the, in the level of arming these observers, maybe, maybe uh, we will see that the number will increase. We have uh, President Omar al-Bashir of Sudan. He's a wanted person by the ICC. We couldn't see any implementation for it. So I'm not really putting high hopes on the ICC at this stage. If it's issue a warrant for his arrest, uh, that would be a strong political uh, point. But Bashar al-Assad doesn't travel overseas that much. The 67-page report detailing Iranian sanctions violations reveals that the weapons that continue to be sent to Syria include assault rifles, machine guns, detonators and explosives. Now, UN officials believe that by making this report public, it could put pressure on Iran to stop propping up Syria's regime. A similar report was blocked by Russia from public release in the past, making UN officials hopeful that perhaps Russia is changing its mind on the Iranian-Syrian alliance. For KSA2, I'm Shruti Mather, reporting from New York City.